Hello guys and welcome back. We often wonder what is all this AI stuff for? I mean, we enjoy making the art, we enjoy playing around with all these softwares, but we need kind of a reason to do it. So I always try to think of applications. What can we apply it to? What can we do with it? And one of the things I've done is to customize my desktop. And the way I do that is obviously by changing the background, which you know how to do. Another idea would be changing the icons and the cursor. So let's so, say we wanted to change this Far Cry 6 icon to this one, or this trash icon to that one. Let's try to do that with the Brave Browser icon right now. Let's try to change it to something more interesting. As a start, I'm going to use a model called Fantastified Icons V2, and I'm going to keep it simple. Write Lion's Head Masterpiece, of course. We'll set the batch count to like four. So let's say we picked this one now. So this model has positives and negatives. The negatives are, it's kind of hard to rotate the image the way you want it. Um, I haven't played around with it too much to, to be sure that it can't be done, but it seems like it doesn't want to listen too well. It works with some things a lot better than others. It will work for items like the ones you see here, much better than for faces. It does represent masks as if it was built more for in-game items or in things like that. But what I do like about it is that it always keeps a background clean so that you can easily remove it and doesn't affect the picture. So let us say that this is the one we pick. We're gonna go to a website called Remove BG, Remove Background. We upload our image. It'll remove the background as you see here. We'll then download it. Now, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is go to a website called Convertio to change our file from a PNG to ICO file, which is the icon file. We're gonna load our picture that we just made. We're going to go to ICO, which is the icon extension, and then we hit convert. And the next thing we're gonna wanna do is right click on the icon that we wanna change, hit properties. It'll take us to the icon shortcut. And there you'll see change icon. You browse to the newest icon you downloaded, you hit okay, you apply, and you're done. So we change this to this. Now you can obviously do that with any icon you want. You can also mess around with the sampling methods and everything else to get the results you wanted. You may want to have a consistent look across your icons, perhaps because you want to have a pack of icons that all look more or less in the same style. You can do that by downloading another one of these models called DD Icon, or you can use any model you want but get LoRa's for icons. One of the LoRa's I've used is the DD Icon LoRa. Now here we're gonna to revert to the Rev animated model because once we have the LoRa, we no longer need to stick to one specific model. We're gonna go with best quality, many details, 4K. I put letter envelope. This is where you're gonna change the word depending on what icon it's supposed to represent. Blender, Octane Render, C4D, Transparent Glass Texture, Blue Green, Frosted Glass, Transparent Technology Sense, Industrial Design, White Background, Studio Lighting, Sunshine, Flat, a Minimal, Quasi-Object, Plain Background, and then your LoRa. And it's going to go through multiple iterations. Now, all you're going to have to change going forward is just letter envelope. Of course, all these are made up things to give you a specific kind of look and decide what sort of look you're going for, like a fiery look. The world is yours, you can decide what you wanna do. Once you've decided to go for a specific style, you stick to that style for all your icons so you can have a whole pack, which then you can create into a pack and share it with other people, which a lot of people do. Some even sell their packs, their icon packs and their theme packs. Now, the next thing you might want to do is create a custom cursor for your mouse. I've created the sword you take it again to convert IO, but this time you're gonna wanna choose CUR, which is the cursor. You're gonna go to your control panel, you go under mouse, and here you're gonna see a place where you can change your cursor. Now, before I let you go, there's two more things I wanna show you that are quite cool. The first one is this AI by Taffy. It is AI text to 3D characters. So we've been talking about 3D characters in these videos so many different times that this would be the next generation of AI generation. And now it's kind of here. As you can see in this AI, you can type anything and it will create a 3D avatar for you that you can then use in any one of your applications, games, and so on. So the technology is advancing very fast. It's very exciting. And the reason I mention it is because you can apply for the beta 
and I highly recommend that you do so. Go onto their site, I'll leave everything in the description. I have already done that and we'll be trying to get together for sure when it comes out. The other thing I wanted to show you that your mother, sister, girlfriend, wife are going to love is this Zyler or Ziller try-on for clothing. Now it's for women only. It's based on AI. You upload a picture, which we're gonna try now real quick. This is definitely the future of online shopping. You no longer have to go into a shop and put the clothes on. AI will put it on for you. Let's do a quick preview of how it works. First, we're gonna need to input all the information of the person. In my case, it's gonna be my sister that I'm uploading. So it's the height, uh, 175. It's the way, the dress size and the bra size. I don't know what those are for her. So I'm gonna pick something random and approximate. Once that's done, it's going to take you to a sort of character creation mode, just like in video games, where you can set head size, shoulder size, leg length, arm size, etc. I'm putting things that are approximate to the way my sister looks. She's very thin. It's not going to be exact in my case, but it doesn't matter. In your case, it might be. And the next thing you do is to continue and you will get inside the virtual shop. Now, it's much better than what we've had so far. It's not super ideal, but you can see yourself wearing any kind of article or clothes that, they're, that they have in their shop. It looks quite a bit realistic, so you can tell with a lot of accuracy whether these clothes are going to fit you, are going to look nice on you. And I can imagine that in the near future, they'll be using technology like the one that we just saw before this one, where you can create a full 3D avatar of yourself that looks exactly like you and where you'll be able to wear clothes, put yourself in different situations. This is most certainly the future of shopping and it is a huge upgrade and a much needed upgrade and quite a quite a late upgrade when you think about it. Well, there you go, folks. That's the updates for today. I hope you enjoy them. As always, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps the algorithm a lot. We're a brand new channel and any kind of help would be very welcome. We thank you in advance and we will see you super, super soon.